Released in 1957, The Enemy Below is a gripping war film that sets a relentless American destroyer captain against a cunning German U-boat commander in the vast expanses of the Atlantic Ocean. As the tension unfolds, you'll encounter a roller coaster of emotions, with moments that will make you laugh, shock you, and tug at your heartstrings. Amidst the various roles played out on screen, you might find yourself drawn to one character more than the others. Who resonated with you the most? The film's narrative unfolds like a chess match, each move carrying consequences that keep you on the edge of your seat. As you delve into the intense battle of wits, be prepared for surprising twists and poignant scenes that leave a lasting impact. It isn't just about naval warfare, it's a story that explores the depths of human resilience and the cost of war. Now as you watch, keep an eye out for those funny, shocking, and heart-wrenching moments. We're curious to know which role in the movie became your favorite. And here's a question for you, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film? We'd love to hear your stories and reflections in the comments below. Get ready for an unforgettable journey through the waters of the enemy below. Happy watching! In the 1957 film The Enemy Below, a compelling narrative unfolds as two skilled captains, one from an American destroyer escort named USS Haynes and the other commanding a German U-boat, engage in a tense and intriguing battle of wits during World War II. Portrayed by Robert Mitchum and Kurt Jurgens, respectively, these captains are not merely archetypal adversaries. Instead, the film delves into the psychological aspects of their encounter. The movie, set in the South Atlantic, showcases the inexorable sea chase between the American destroyer and the German U-boat. The filmmakers commendably depict both sides of the conflict, offering viewers insight into the perspectives of the captains involved. Notably, Theodore Bickel delivers a noteworthy performance as the second-in-command of the U-boat, adding depth to the storyline. While the film is recognized as one of the best World War II submarine movies, some scenes, unfortunately, suffer from the use of obvious models in studio tanks. Nevertheless, the screenplay, based on the novel by D. A Rainer, weaves an interesting narrative. Kurt Jurgens, making his American movie debut, and the supporting cast, including Theodore Bickel, Frank Albertson, Russell Collins, David Hedison, and Doug McClure, contribute to the overall quality of the production. The cinematography by Harold Rawson, featuring vivid maritime scenes, enhances the film's tension. Despite being set in the South Atlantic, the ocean scenes were filmed in the Pacific Ocean, providing a visually stunning backdrop. Directed by Dick Powell, a former movie star, the film effectively captures the claustrophobic undersea tension, marking one of Powell's final theatrically released movies before transitioning exclusively to television. In conclusion, The Enemy Below stands out as a tightly knit drama that skillfully navigates the relentless sea maneuvers of a destroyer and a submarine. The film's portrayal of the battle's complexity, coupled with strong performances and cinematography, makes it a notable entry in the genre. In the Arrainer's source novel, the ship known as HMS Hecate and its English captain, John Merrill, set the stage for The Enemy Below. The plot, featuring two enemy commanders who forge an unexpected respect amid battle, echoes themes found in later works like Balance of Terror and Killers of the Deep, where David Hedison also played a role. The U-boat depicted in the film contrasts sharply with the harsh reality of World War II German U-boats, as later portrayed in Das Boot. Unlike the cramped and grimy actual U-boats, the movie's U-boat appears roomier and cleaner. The stark conditions on board, including the challenging use of toilets during depth charges, stand in stark contrast to the sanitized portrayal in the film. Reports from U-boat returnees described an unbearable stench, enough to make dock workers vomit. The Enemy Below provides a unique perspective on naval warfare, presenting an intriguing narrative of respect between adversaries. The film, albeit fictionalized, sheds light on the stark differences between cinematic portrayal and historical reality. Two different endings were filmed for the 1957 movie The Enemy Below. In one version, both commanders meet their demise, while in the other, a third vessel intervenes for their rescue. Preview results dictated the selection of the final ending. The USS Haynes in the film is, in reality, the USS Whitehurst, commanded by Walter R. Smith, who also received credit as a technical advisor and made an appearance as the ship's chief engineer. A photograph featuring Eva Novik portrays her as the wife of von Stolberg. The U-boat in the movie bears the slogan Führer Befehl, where Fulgen, translating to leader command, we follow. 
The concluding rescue scene was filmed off Long Beach, California and on the USS Alfred E. Cunningham and Allen M. Sumner class destroyer. Additional locations included the Pacific Ocean near Oahu, Hawaii for scenes aboard the USS Whitehurst, doubling as the USS Haynes. The enemy below, unfolding within a compressed 24-hour time frame, captures the tension of naval warfare. In a twist of reality, the USS Bory, a destroyer, played a crucial role in sinking U-boat U-405, sacrificing itself in the process. The Bory, battered beyond repair, succumbed the next day, its crew rescued by another vessel. A notable moment in the film features the U-boat crew singing an 18th-century march, Dare de Sour Marsh, between depth charge attacks. Known by the lyrics so Levin were, this adds a historical touch to the film's narrative. This cinematic piece, navigated by the intense 24-hour plot, mirrors a real-life incident involving the USS Bory and U-boat U-405. The inclusion of the Dare de Sour Marsh tune further deepens the authenticity, shedding light on the human elements in naval warfare. In summary, The Enemy Below, with its concise timeline and historical references, crafts a compelling narrative of sacrifice and survival, drawing inspiration from actual events. Robert Mitchum faced a perilous incident during the filming of The Enemy Below. According to Robert Osborne, he fell down a ship's gangway, resulting in severe injuries that required him to wear a back brace throughout the filming. Additionally, mishaps with depth charges occurred as they were accidentally launched simultaneously from the Navy destroyer, causing damage to the ship's rudder and hull. Albert Beck, a former German U-boat submariner, served as a technical consultant for the movie, providing insights into the submarine scenes. His expertise added authenticity to the portrayal of naval warfare. And in a 1977 interview with the New York Times, Kurt Jurgens, portraying the German submarine commander Captain von Stolberg, highlighted the significance of the film. He noted that it marked a departure from post-war portrayals of German officers, presenting a more nuanced perspective. These behind-the-scenes incidents and expert consultations from individuals like Albert Beck contribute to the film's authenticity, offering a glimpse into the challenges and meticulous details involved in its creation. The Enemy Below, not just a cinematic piece, but a production marked by real struggles and expertise, provides a unique lens into the world of naval warfare during its time. The USS Whitehurst, featured in The Enemy Below, belonged to the class captained by the USS Buckley. In a notable incident during World War II, the USS Buckley, leading Task Group 2111, engaged the German submarine U-66. The two vessels clashed in a dramatic encounter involving ramming, gunfire, and hand-to-hand -hand combat on the foredeck. The U-66 ultimately sank after being struck by the Buckley, marking a significant moment in naval history. German actor Kurt Jurgens made his American film debut in The Enemy Below, portraying the German submarine commander. This marked a notable addition to Jurgens' acting career and added an authentic touch to the film's portrayal of German officers. The movie is an adaptation of D.A. Rayner's novel, and interestingly, the book and its dust jacket are visible in one of the movie's trailers. This connection between the source material and its cinematic adaptation offers a unique insight into the film's origins. In summary, The Enemy Below, drawing from historical naval events and featuring the American debut of Kurd Jurgens, provides a gripping narrative rooted in real-world encounters. The link between the film and its source novel adds depth to the understanding of its creation.